about like three seconds of battery this morning before it dies. But we're gonna get the border mixed up so that I can get the grout lines filled on the hearth, up along the edges, and get all of that buttoned up and then. Jess is doing now is the underside. There's just a little gap. So she's just kind of mortaring in that little gap, kind of filling it in. Oh, and then she takes the shot away from me, plays right in front of the camera. Yeah, there's not even a quarter inch gap underneath that that she's filling in right now. Just laying there. Just laying down on the job. I know. Can't fire her though. I need the help, so we'll keep her. That finishes all of the lower half in the hearth. Just filled in the gaps around the edges, made it nice and clean around the edge of the boards. So I need to get the scaffolding so I can get to the upper half, but that won't take me very long at all. All right, here's Jess actually getting on the scaffolding. She's really not happy about it, but she's a trooper. She made it. So yeah, she's just getting ready to do the edges on this upper piece right there. She's not a fan of the scaffolding, so this is good for her. Okay, we're moving on and getting ready to mount the rails um, for the railing in this section. Um, so we have all of the parts and the fittings. Um, we'll kind of mark it out. So all of the rails Both of the rails have already been pre-drilled for the vertical, um, what are they called, balusters, the vertical, yeah. the vertical pieces. So these have all been drilled to accept that three-quarter inch rebar. And then at each end, we have a hole that's been pre-drilled for the brackets. So we have this bracket. It's just a regular Simpson bracket. You can pick it up at a hardware store, but we kind of like the way it looks. So we'll screw it into the six by six here, and then it will fit over the end of the post. Whoops, that was totally out of frame. So it'll fit over the end of the post, and then just a carriage bolt will go through that hole, and then we'll have a washer and nut on this side to hold it in place. And then we can install the rebar, and then we'll, the top um, one will go on kind of the same way. So we've got to get the brackets mounted, and then we have to cut the rebar so it's all exactly the same length. Other than that, we've already done all of the prep work. That was all done while we were at home this winter. It was one of our winter projects. So we've got all of that done. I'll actually slip that video in of, of us prepping the rebar and getting it all done at home. So, here we go. I post. Oh, so you'll also see that there's these little two by fours underneath. So we have decided we want that bottom rail mounted three and a half inches up off of the of base so that we still make code. We're under that four inch gap, um, but it's equal. It's easy to measure. No muss, no fuss. I don't have to figure anything out. So. 
So we have got, right now we only have three pieces of them, but this is three pieces of 10 foot long, five eighths inch rebar. So it's very rusted as you could see. So we're gonna start cleaning that up. We'll take a wire wheel, clean it up, um, cut it into the proper lengths. And then we are going to paint it a black color. So they're 10 feet long. We have to have at least 28 inches. So we are just gonna cut these into four even sections, which are 30 inches long, which leave us enough to mess with and have some extra in case we decide to change our mind on how high the railing is gonna go. here we've got some that are already sanded down and then these have got a coat of the brown primer on them so okay so we've got all of the rebar all ready to go we know our measurement Dave's just getting his grinder ready so he can cut it off That's it, that's the first section all in. Hardware's on and tightened down. I have a video going from down below, so I'll slide that in here as well so you can kind of see what it looks like from down there. doesn't stand out as much from down here but that does that entire section we've got one more six by six so we can put up two more posts we've got so we've got a piece of sheetrock here all cut ready to go up so it can go right there across that piece and then that will make it so that we can add the next two posts going that way um, we have the rails enough to do a top and a bottom for the next section, but we do not have enough rebar with us um, to do a complete section for the next section. So we will get um, the posts in and probably the bottom rail in, but then we won't finish the rebar portion of that until we can bring more rebar up with us. Well, this is what happens when we have an extra set of hands. Mom turns her back, gets busy doing one thing, and the guys grab something else, and ta-da, we now have a piece of sheetrock up. <laughs> so they're just finishing screwing that in, but there's not much to watch when somebody's just putting screws into drywall, so. All right, so we've been horrible about getting video, so here's what we've got done. We have Jessica sitting up there. It's where she's been a lot of the day. Oh, the six by six post we've got cut, notched, ready to go. So we're just gonna kind of screw it into that LVL, into that sheetrock right there. So we forgot we need to sand the post. So uh, yeah, so we'll let this stain dry and then we'll sand the post and then we'll stain the post. Sand, stain, sand, stain. We're kind of doing things a whole lot of out of order. You know, if we were more organized, we would have known, you know, nice. router to the top of the post, then stain them all, you know, sand them all, whatever. I guess it would be router, sand, then stain, huh? That's probably the better method. So much confusion. Welcome to my brain. So much confusion. Okay, so now that everything is done on this section, railing and all. Um, we're just going through, wiping it down, and then we will take this oil-based 
polyurethane that we have here. Same brand as the stain is. So we're just gonna take that and we're gonna do a seal coat on all of this so it's all done. So we got the stove up on the hearth. We've got the rock all done and mortared. Um, the columns are all sealed. The railing, first section of railing is all done. And the second post is in and stained. So next time we come up, we will be able to do this section right here, get the railing, the top and bottom rails in, get the rebar in, and go from there. <laughs> that's a good look. Okay, well that's it for us. We have, there's a couple little things we could do, but I think we're going to relax. Yep, we're going to call it a weekend, relax, enjoy it. Uh, got a lot done. Josh was able to come up and help. Which, which was a huge help. Definitely. The extra set of hands is very nice at times. So Yes. Yeah. Able to get stuff done. We'll see what we can get done next weekend as well. We'll be back up and go from there. Yeah. So like, comment, subscribe. Yeah. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks.